ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Rob, as we continue the road to SummerSlam. The 10 best world title, WWE title, universal title matches in SummerSlam history. I took all the world titles, threw them in a blender, and came up with the best 10 matches. Number 10, 2016, it was a four-star match for the first ever universal champion. Finn Balor, Balor Club, versus Seth freaking Rollins. And Finn Balor becomes the first ever Universal Champion. Unfortunately, the next night on Raw, I had to relinquish the title because of injury. And then Kevin Owens wins the title, and the rest is history. Now, unfortunately, Brock fucking Lesnar has it, and it never gets defended, and he never shows up. Whatever. Okay, we'll get more into that in the preview of SummerSlam. So number nine on the list, the World Heavyweight title, 2011, and a no-holds-barred no match, champion Christian defends the title versus the legend killer, the Viper, Randy Orton, in a four-star match, Randy Orton, new World Heavyweight Champion. Number 8 comes with 2003 in the WWE title. Kurt Angle defends the title versus Brock Lesnar in a WrestleMania rematch. Um, this is when Brock Lesnar could wrestle. Um, this was a damn good match. If you've never seen it, I highly recommend checking out the WrestleMania one. Checking out the SummerSlam one. Both matches, terrific. This is a four and a quarter. Uh, number 7 on the list comes in 2014. Uh, WWE title, Brock Lesnar versus John Cena. Cena defending the title versus Brock Lesnar. Lesnar winning the title here. Um, John Cena made this match. Brock Lesnar just can't wrestle anymore. Even then he couldn't. Um, so number seven is Brock Lesnar, John Cena from 2014. Number six comes from way back in 2004. A four and a quarter star world title match. Randy Orton, the 12 time, or 12 or 14 now, time champion, his first ever world heavyweight title when he defended champion Chris Benoit, the Crippler. And then, as we all know, the next night on Raw, he's on Dave's shoulders. Trip goes, Evolution gets destroyed, and Randy and Trip feud. And they still are feuding today. <laughs> From time to time. Number five on the list comes 2009 world title and a tables, ladders, and chair match. We had champion Jeffrey Hardy versus the one, the only, CM Punk. Mr. Punk winning the title over Jeff Hardy. Lights go out after, after when CM Punk is standing on the ladder. When the lights come on, The Undertaker is under the ladder. Number four on the list comes from 2011, a four and a half, so that one was four and a quarter. This one was four and a half. It involved the WWE title with special referee Triple H. We had, for the undisputed WWE title, we had WWE champion John Cena versus WWE champion CM Punk. This is the rematch of 2011 Money in the Bank. Punk won the title in Chicago, left, his contract was up, he uh, left the arena with the title, um, re-signed with WWE obviously, came back, they crowned John Cena as champion, Punk Sativa's champion, unification match, bam, CM Punk, a unified world heavyweight champion. Number three for the 2013 WWE title, also special referee Triple H, we had Daniel Bryan. Going after the title versus champion John Cena. Daniel Bryan winning the World Heavyweight title here. And then getting cashed in on. <laughs> That's their pedigree for Triple H. Um, number two, that was four and a half star. Number two on the list, another four and a half star match from 2015. This one was title versus title. U.S. title versus a WWE title. Seth Rollins, WWE champion versus John Cena, United States champion. Winner take all. And the double champion when the night was over was Seth freaking Rollins. Four and a half star match. 
and the greatest match, world title match, match period, SummerSlam history, was a steel cage match for the WWE, WWF title, world heavyweight title in 1994, brother versus brother, a WrestleMania rematch, Bret the Hitman Hart versus the Rocket Owen Hart, the little nugget. I think wrestling history would have changed tremendously if at this moment WWE would have seen what everyone else seen in Owen Hart and gave him the world title. He was probably the greatest wrestler never to win a world title. So that wraps up the 10 best world title matches in SummerSlam history. Stay tuned to Robert Sports Show for the 10 best matches in SummerSlam history and then the preview for NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 3 and take in the preview of WWE SummerSlam 2017. As always, thanks for watching our sports show. And have a great night. Have a spiffy night. Our sports show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.